Welcome to a little bonus content for Continuum Drag. Jordan's been, uh, got a little idea he wants to try out on us. Well, I've been uh, uh, reading through quite a bit of almost human fan fiction, and so far, of all the things we've watched, nothing compares to almost human in terms of the amount of fan fiction there's out there. I spent one day, honestly, hours I read this stuff. Um, most of it not very good, obviously, but it's amazing how much effort and time people will put into some of these things some of these stories are like fifty thousand words like it's crazy wow they're like almost book size man oh man most of them are about the two characters banging uh, well i can see why i mean two very attractive gentlemen yeah so anyway on that note so what i did was i pulled five stories that i thought might be fun to read like we've done way back when i think we did a tech war one but what i thought just to change it up a little bit is i'll read you the title of these stories and then you tell me which of these you'd like me to read. Okay. Okay. I understand the premise. Yeah. <laughs> the first one's called Tough Christmas. <laughs> the next one is called Jots of Jorian, Ficklets and Interludes. Wait, wait. Jots of Dorian? Jots of Jorian. Not Dorian. I don't know why. And then colon, Ficklets and Interludes. I don't know if Ficklets is a word. I've never heard of it before, but that's what they wrote. Uh, let me tell you right now, I'm not begging that. I hate that so much. <laughs> uh, the third one is called The Slug. <laughs> um, the fourth one is called Dorian Learns to Knit. And let me just tell you, I'm not to spoil it, but it's exactly what you think it is. <laughs> okay. And the fifth is You Can't Die, But I Still Feared You Would. Oh my god. So the I five. mean, I'm not doing that Jots one, so just get out of there with that. Mm -hmm. That's my new catchphrase, right? I can't remember. <laughs> that, that wasn't your catchphrase. <laughs> can't remember. We just recorded that last episode where I, you told me I had a catchphrase and I forgot already. Uh, <laughs> I don't want to hear about Dorian knitting, I don't think. Maybe no. I do. I wish the slug was about a slug, but I'm afraid it's going to be about a bullet. It, it's not about a bullet. All right, we're doing the slug then. You know what's funny? I knew you were going to pick the slug because I actually How could I not? I already had that story ready to go. How could I not pick that title? So, uh, and the good thing for you is this is a short story, Luke. It's uh, 433 words. Great. Oh, and uh, just to say, I didn't want to hear about Christmas. Christmas is over. Um, the Christmas really is um, the gift that Dorian is giving uh, 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 John. Is his name John? Uh, is his gift his it, dick? That's right. Great. <laughs> so uh, I'll, I'll read you the slug real quick. And uh, as per usual, I apologize ahead of time. Uh, if I'm stumbling, it's because the way it's written. The story is called The Slug by Becky Lee 23. Um, and then they have a little synopsis and it says, John ate a slug. You're not impressed? Little drabble set after the bends, which I guess is an episode. I am so excited. Okay. I ate a slug today. Oh, whoa there. You stepped away from John, palms up. Did you say slug? You said slug, didn't you? It was Dorian's fault. I would have offended Nuri if I hadn't. He opened his arms to you again. You can still hug me, you know. I didn't rub it all over me. Yeah, but it was in your mouth. Warily glancing at him, you allowed his arms to encircle you. I'm sure... <laughs> I sure hoped you brushed your teeth before kissing anyone. Just for that I ought to kiss you. But you have slug mouth. You're really asking for it. You twisted out of his arms and back toward the kitchen. I gotta go. Turn the stove off. I should make a note here. I'm pretty sure they're talking directly to the viewer the way this is written. I don't know why, but I, I continue. We're in my apartment. The stove isn't on. John started advancing towards you, moving quicker with each step he took. At the look of pure devious mischief on his face, you turned tail and bolted, make it as far as the living room before he caught you round your waist. You threw all your weight to him as he spun you around, managing to throw you off uh, your balance and send him toppling to the floor, but cursed your luck as he brought you down with him. A swift roll was all it took to get you underneath him. Slug mouth, huh? But I'll taste real good. Wanna try? He trailed his tongue from your collarbone up your neck. A strangled moan escaped you as he sli shifted slightly to peer down at you. What was that? What? Nothing. Was that a moan? You turned your head away from him. I don't know what you're talking about. What's the matter? Slug got your tongue? Only yours, John. My tongue is untainted. Not for much longer. His fingers grasped your chin and turned you back to face him. His lips were upon yours before he even stopped moving, and in seconds his tongue had slipped into your mouth. 
you focused entirely on the heat of the moment, on the press of his body against yours and the way he absolutely dominated. When he eventually slowed and moved back a fraction, he licked his lips, a calculated move you were sure he did on purpose. So how was it? How? What? How did I taste? Did you like the slug? I think the slug taste is all gone, but it feel better if I checked you over again. That's probably the best. It was all. You quickly slapped your hand over his mouth and shuddered. John, I'll never kiss you again if you finish that sentence. All right. I could not figure out who the other character with John was at the beginning. And then when you stopped to tell me, I think the other character is the viewer. I just imagined the rest of the story to be told from like a POV of the camera. So like he's trying to like make out with my television. <laughs> It, it's almost written like someone who's never read a book before. I Yeah, it is. I mean, I liked how often they said slug. <laughs> yeah, and basically it's just an excuse to have the characters kissing, which happens a lot in these stories. The weird thing, it, it's not Dorian and him kissing. But as I was going to say, to have the characters kissing, but who was the character kissing? The character was kissing unnamed. an unnamed first-person party. <laughs> yeah, I know. By the way, this was written um, November 13th, 2017. Oh, whoa, that's like a year and six months ago, maybe? Mm-hmm, yeah. God bless this person. Oh, and they've listed the uh, the, <laughs> the genre as romance slash... Oh, and, oh, sorry, I thought it said romance horror. It's romance humor. Definitely has that. I I mean, laugh riot, this this story. So there you are. That's a, a little a sample of this uh, lovely fan fiction that's been written about Almost Human. Um, if you're looking to read more about uh, this sort of thing, just Google fan fiction, uh, almost human. And there's, I tell you, thousands of these things. So uh, you should spend the rest of your life reading them, I guess. Well, I spent one afternoon that I'll never get back. I mean, it was worth it. Yeah. So do you want to hear about, <laughs> do you want to hear about jits and jots and whatever that one was? <laughs> jits and jots. Oh, good Lord. Anyway, that's it. Well, Jordan, I can't thank you enough for bringing that into my brain. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I can't wait for another show that has uh, just such such amazing fans. 